Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video at Morgan Homestead. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Now I know why most of you guys clicked on this video. Um, I'll be getting to that soon. It is very important news. Um, could be very beneficial to some of y'all. Um, the source I got it from um, sent this to me and um, has a family member that is original manager for Walmart and this is what their staff meetings are going over this is what's happening so um, stay tuned in this video and I'll let you know my insider information um, hopefully it's not true but if it is uh, we all need to be prepared and we all need to make um, precautions for it so stay tuned and uh, we'll drop the details tell me what happened yesterday what happened, what happened last night Braves won it. They clinched it, didn't they? They yeah. won the World Series. Who'd they beat? The Astros. What are the Astros? Cheaters. Cheaters, that's right. A bunch of cheaters. That's why they lost. That's why they lost? <laughs> so yeah, you guys see, I um, still got my brother-in-law's truck back behind me. Um, did get some info on my truck, um, but the parts are on back order. So don't know how long it's going to be. I'm going to be without a truck. So thankfully, my brother-in-law, let me use his. And uh, I'm able to haul stuff and all that. But um, another thing in this video, check out this. This is a heated vest from FT Vogue. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. This is not going to be the um, video I'm going to do over this. But I got it on. Um, it works phenomenally. Okay. Check this out. See that? Lit up red. So that's high. Push it, that's medium. Push it, that's low. Back to high. So it has three heat spots on it. It's got two, one here, one here, two on each side for your hands. Um, and then it's got one on the back. And let me tell you, this thing will get you toasty. It's probably, it's in the uh, mid 40s right now probably. And I just turned this thing on, and I'll be I'll be turning it off in no time when you're doing work. But this thing will be great. Um, football games, we watch football games in the fall. Um, basketball games, going in and out of gyms. It's cold outside. Um, what, standing in line to get in, turn this thing on while you're waiting. You get in there, turn it off. The heat goes away, um, and you're comfortable. You're going to be going outside. Turn it on, warm your core up again. Go outside. I mean, this thing is is awesome. I wore it to church the other day, and um, now all my family members want it for Christmas. So I'm going to be buying them uh, this for Christmas. But you can get it on Amazon. Like I said, I'll put a link um, in the description below. But this is not the, the video I'm going to do. I'm going to do a more in-depth um, video over it and talk about it a little more. Lindy has one as well, and we'll do an unboxing on it. You get to see what it comes with. It comes with a nice case, and um, it was a, a really nice product, okay? And um, for the cost of it, you're going to pay that for a normal vest without the heating core in it. So I'll give you all the details and the battery and the charge and the life cycle and all that coming up. Bobby is getting so huge. Look how big Bobby is. Of course he ran off, but Bobby's getting huge. What, buddy? Chickens are out of feed? All right, we better give him some feed. But before I do that, well, after after I feed the chickens, we'll come back and I will um, give you the details on Walmart and what is going on. Not necessarily what they're doing. It's just, it's America right now. The turmoil that we're in, um, it's just a, not a good spot to be in right now. So I want you guys to check this out real quick. You can see right where, um, well, I'll show you one reason why I made this hay ring the way I did. You can see out here on the edge of the hay, they already got poop all over it. Okay, but well, check this out. Right here in the opening that I made, look, they've been getting in here and eating like they're supposed to. No head stuck in it. So it's a win-win. Try this spot over here. Yep. Look at all this. It's eight way down. Now I can, we can pull this right here. Get some more over here where they can eat out of that spot. Good to go. What do you think? 
Huh? Yeah. We're gonna go put some in this other side. All right, we're gonna get some feed for the chickens and uh, probably top their water off, and then uh, we'll get down to the details. Dot, yes, I need. Get it in the right feed bin, okay? You better hurry. You better hurry. Lift up the bottom. <laughs> I can't get. Lift up the bottom. There we go. There we go. <laughs> How was that? Uh, I don't like. I don't like feeding. You don't like feeding the goats? No. Is it easier feeding the chickens? Yeah. Ah, oh, you can do that next. What if the no? All right, you know what we gotta do now? Go inside and take a nap. Go inside and take a nap. Close. Huh. Close. And video. You remember how to get them chickens ran in here? Go around that way. Walk them up, other way. Walk them in nice and slow. There you go, keep pushing it this way. Hey, <laughs> get back in now. Is that all of them that's out? Huh? That's the only one that I saw. Oh, we better look. Let's lock that back. Let's look. That big dark spot Bobby's getting on his back. So this message was just sent out um, to someone and I kind of got a copy of it. Um, I'm going to paraphrase it and uh, just kind of let you guys know what is going on. Um, pretty much um, the person that, that messaged uh, has a family member who is a regional manager at a local Walmart and they have a video conference uh, between reg regional managers um, daily, kind of like a uh, what's going on plan, you know, um, type meeting. So. In this particular area, um, where this lady's from, not sure the area, um, they're only getting one truck in of food and possibly no trucks in the next couple months. Um, all the other managers said that their trucks are running about like theirs, so um, this is not just a um, isolated area. This sounds like it could be like Walmart, maybe US wide, uh, definitely. Um, not just a single a single store so if there's anything y'all need to stock up on such as food they advise that we get it now um and it's funny funny that i read this message because um i was speaking to a guy at work yesterday and he said man you've been into walmart lately he said uh the shell the food is like the shelves are not as stocked as they used to be there's still some items on there but there's not like the quantity of them you know where you got a couple rows back behind them it's kind of like a single file um you know a row straight across and uh it is what it is so i would advise if you guys need anything um and if you see if, if your walmart is like this one the shelves are getting bare um not as many trucks coming in may have to do with the ports and all that stuff um, like I said, it's just a big fiasco, uh, pretty much what America is in right now. But um, if you guys need anything, 
I would advise stock up on stuff, uh, whether it be if you prefer bottled water, uh, beans, rice, stuff that'll last. If you guys have not been prepping for that, um, start prepping because there may be a time um, when you cannot get it in the near future. So I'd advise you start stocking up. We're going to do a little bit of it. We're not going to get too carried away, but we're going to make sure we have um, enough stuff like that to last us um, a decent amount of time. Uh, don't want to be the type of people to go and buy up everything to where no one else has anything. We're going to, I'm going to make sure my family has enough um, to survive, but we're not going to uh, by any means wipe out the, the local Walmart. Um, you know, we have our own beef, our own pork and stuff like that. Um, we've been blessed and uh, to be able to do that. So um, it's just small things that we need from Walmart. So if you guys um, go to your local Walmart and the shelves are getting bare, uh, I would not hesitate to stock up on a few items because um, you never know. Um, this could just be hearsay or there could be some substance to this input that I got. Um, hopefully it's nothing, but if it is, I just wanted to warn you guys, get it out here, let y'all know that um, possibly Walmart's gonna be running out of food. Um, hopefully I'm wrong, hopefully they're wrong, but if not, you heard it here, get stocked up. Sissy, got anything? No. What did you do yesterday? What did you have? A cheer game. Your first basketball game you cheered at, huh? You wanna do a cheer for us? Please, please, be loud and proud. No. No? Okay. No. Maybe next time? No. <laughs> am I, hey, am I just going to have to video you at the game? No. You don't want me to do that? No. I bet Coach Walker will. I don't care if he does. All right, guys, that's all we got in today's video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys have subscribed to our channel, at more at home said, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. Don't forget, I'm going to drop the link to these down in the description below. But I will have a video uh, going in more detail pertaining to these things. But I just want you to know, they are stinking awesome. I'm going to be buying like six or eight of them uh, for, for family members, maybe for Hallie. Um, but they are, I mean, they're nice. Okay, they're nice. Um, even Dutch, I worked at church the other day and I showed Dutch and he's like, man, this thing's pretty slick. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And remember, go check out your Walmart. Let me know in the comments below if this is happening in your region or if there's no substance to this intel or if there is actually some substance to it that uh, this stuff's really happening. I know in our Walmart it it is, um, but let me know in your area, in your region. All right, guys, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Until next time. God bless.